Hey guys, I picked up the Tascam MixCast 4 and I'm going to open the box with you so we can see what's in the box and see if this is a great little mixer for us. All right, now some of the features that this had, which is the reason I bought it was, it can do four XLR phantom powered microphones or condenser microphones at one time. It can also connect to a cell phone and allow two-way audio so that you can do phone calls with a guest and it can also connect with your computer and do two-way audio as well as it can send the audio tracks out to your computer or your recording device and it also has an onboard memory card to record audio at the same time. So those were some of the reasons that I picked it up because it had features that the competitors did not have especially that two-way audio with my phone for doing interviews. So that was like a big selling point to me and four XLR condenser phantom powered microphones is another feature that I just didn't find at this price point or with the, st the style preamps that this is supposed to have. So let's open the box, take a look and see what we think. All right, so here's how it comes packaged. Let's see if I can find pieces to take out. Okay, so there's one box in there. Looks like owner's manuals. Empty box now. Phone packing. And it appears to be a mixer. So, let me take this out of the package. without dropping it, I hope. All right, so here is what it looks like. Um, it's a fairly nice footprint. Ooh, those faders actually have a nice glide feel to them. They're not gritty, they're nice and smooth. Now, one thing I do notice is not every fader feels exactly the same. Um, some are a little firmer than others in their glide but they all glide similar. All right, and the buttons, you've got talk back, you've got mute and solo on each channel and solo on this, which, oh, this is to play pad audio. So you can adjust the level of pad so you can program these pads. And I believe there's multiple banks of pads as well. Uh, these, let's see, monitor out. So that would be for speakers. There are four headphones out. There's mark to mark points in the audio tracks if you're recording on the device. There's stop and there's a record and record pause is what that is. On the back, what do we've got? We've got four combo, they're XLR connectors and you can also put a TRS quarter inch in the center of them. So those might be Neutrik. I can't tell for sure if that's the Neutrik logo on them. Um, and then we have a little switch to choose whether we want quarter inch line input or we want the TRRS, which is a hardwired cable connection to a phone. It also Bluetooth connects to a phone. And then there is a standard line out core, uh, mini eighth inch. Then there are monitor outs, which are a quarter inch. There's a USB connector right here. And then there are three I mean, four headphone jacks, a power port, and the Kingston lock connector. All right, so now let's see what's in this box. I assume there's a power cable in here, but it looks like there might be something else, or maybe the power cable comes in two pieces. Let's take a look, and then we'll find out. So a bag. and a bag. All right, nothing else in there. So this first bag is clearly the power cable. Yep, with the connector on it for the mixer. So the second bag, let's find out what's in here. If I were smart enough to open the bag, that'd be kind of cool. Maybe they made it foolproof. All right, empty bag. Okay, and in that bag, there's multiple bags. All right, so first we have multiple power connectors. Okay, 
So this power connector is interchangeable for different international standards. So we've got multiple power options there to plug it in. And then this, oh, this is a USB cable in here. It is a USB-C to USB-C connector. So that would connect to your computer or your phone or whatever. All right, well, that looks pretty simple. Let's plug it in, turn it on, and see what it looks like. All right, so I failed to point out before, there's another headphone jack right here, a TRRS, so it can be headphones with a mic included. And on the back, here's the memory card slot. You open that up and it looks like you insert your memory card there. And then the power button is right here. So let's push the power button and turn it on. Lights up, it says Tascam Mix, full, Mixcast 4, and it says preparation. Tap the screen, oh, okay. Recording. So it's a little instructional guide. Oh, you can even edit on here with some kind of editor that they have. All right, let's just go home. Okay, so it's got level indicators for each input. And it's blinking Bluetooth, meaning it wants me to connect Bluetooth or I can turn that feature off. So there you go, guys. Um, it's a great sounding mixer. I already know that. So I hope this review is helpful for you to decide if the Tascam MixCast 4 is the right mixer or audio interface for you. I also left a link in the description so you can pick yours up today.